Let's play Tonight. a game. No. One penny, one penny. Is that movie that was based on fan fiction? Was I what? Even you didn't know? One? Get out of my van. That's oh. like, don't tell me that. I know. Everybody, so we are headed into Dubuque. Where are we going, Pootie? Dumbo. We're going to Dumbo. You're excited, huh? You've been waiting. Hey, guess what? What? Guess what? I made it for the final time because I had one row left. <laughs> yeah, so I've started an incentive chart with the kids and just trying to work on like behaviors and stuff like everybody has, you know? And so sometimes we'll give an X or a star or something on it when we're having behavior that we're trying to work with. And if you fill your chart up, then you don't get to go on the activity that we've planned. So they all ended up being able to go. Braxton's back there. But guess what? What? Guess what um, activity we didn't get to go to? What? Sonic. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, but you guys know because of the flooding we didn't go, but T's with us and Aspen and, and Braxton and, and, and Ireland, yep, and Daddy, of course, who's really quiet again. He's been really, you guys, tell him to talk to you. He's been I, really quiet on I the vlog a, lately. I have a sinus thing going on. I just, <laughs> like, I got soaking wet at work, and now it's just like, I knew I was going to get it, too, and now it's all up in my, my head. I've been eating cough drops. I took some daytime cold medicine and now I just gotta get into the into the groove. <laughs> I think he's just mad at you guys. He's snubbing you. No. Are you snubbing the vlog? I'm not snubbing the vlog. Do you still love the vlog? I do. He I still love loves you guys, I see? Love you. Anyway, I know you guys have been asking us to do a live, and so very soon here, we're thinking in the next weekend or two, but okay. not next weekend, because that's Easter weekend, right? So not next weekend, but let's plan for, so if you've been waiting and wondering, let's plan tonight. for the weekend. No, no, not tonight. Let's plan for the weekend after Easter. We'll do that. We'll plan for the weekend after Easter. It'll probably be on a Saturday night that we'll do it. Because that's generally when so, we tend to yeah, do Yeah, we don't have time on Friday nights. So. Yeah, so not this weekend, not next weekend, the you weekend after out. on a Saturday night, on Saturday night, we will guess do it. what, guys? What? S A T -O -O. One, two, three, four, five. One penny, one penny, two penny. Three quarters? You have three quarters? You get a go. Guess how much? A quarter is worth. Hey, guess what Grandpa said? What? He said I can buy whatever I want with all of these. He did. Well, do you know how much one of those is worth? 25 pennies. Yeah, I can buy even a toy with these. Maybe. I don't know if you have quite enough. Maybe a toy out of a gumball machine. You ready to go to the movie? All right, let's go. I need a cheeseburger, only ketchup. I need four cheeseburgers regular, and that's it. Like the movie? Yes, but I am gonna get ripped off when I go to the arcade, and I'm gonna play pool with Brad and rip him off. 
Wow. So, you guys, what he's talking about is he wants to, for his birthday next year, he wants to go to the arcade. And so, between now and next year, you'll probably hear a lot about this arcade. Just saying. But yeah, he told he kept saying from the his seat, he kept saying, that was a great movie, huh? It was a great movie. Yeah, you really liked it, didn't you? I did. I really liked it. I didn't realize Danny DeVito and... Uh, uh, Colin Farrell? No, uh, I don't care about him. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Colin Michael Farrell. Michael Douglas. Or, I mean, not my, what? I can't even think. You got me all screwed up now. Michael Keaton. One of my favorites. <gasps> That's who that was. I what? didn't even you didn't know. Get out of my van. I kept thinking, man, I know that face, but I couldn't figure out who it was. Hey, Sorry, it's Michael Keaton. Like a bam, bam, bam. <laughs> All right, guys, so I changed my shirt because it's date night for Matt and I. I'm excited. It's been a while since we've been on a date. I made dinner reservations. He did. He made reservations, you guys. Now, I've been to the place we're going, but he's never been there. Usually when we go to a place where we make reservations, we always kind of went to one particular spot yes and we hadn't been there in years so we decided we'd try this place we're going kind of early in the day but uh, somebody was saying it was prom or something or yeah uh, for one of the outlying towns so probably a good thing we're going early yeah so we are actually going to the three mile house which i'm excited about because it's been a very very long time since i've had the food there and i know matt is really going to enjoy it but the second part of our date, shopping. No shopping. kids, yeah. shopping, which we enjoy that too. Yeah, and I'll be putting on the spare shirt again. Oh, I'm going <laughs> shopping with that shirt. Yeah, because it's it's chilly out, we you guys. I wore something a little nicer for a dinner date. We can't stop back there to put it on, though. I'll throw it over the shirt I'm wearing. Oh. It's just warmer. That's how we roll, you guys. You can tell we've been married way too long. <laughs> always on the high, you were always on my mind, dear Wichita. The days we were told would it never grow old here in Wichita. We were down by the river all through the night, watching the stars and the city lights. Right from the start, said we never grow apart, dear Wichita. Alright you guys, so that was Matt's first time there. Oh. And it was amazing, wasn't Phenomenal. it? Phenomenal. And not even the food. The food was unbelievably good. Oh. And flavorful. Every single part of the meal In the service, was good. the service was from the minute you walk in the place to the minute you leave. And they, and fast. Oh. Like the food takes no time to get to your table. They're right there and they come back continuously and ask you if you need anything. Like continuously come back and ask you, but not like intrusively either. Just, you know, no, just no. quick, how's everything going? Is the food it, good? It, and the it, owner thanks you for your business before owner, you leave. The I mean, the owner walked up and this is what caught me that was like the most special part of the dinner. It's like they, they kind of monitor when the food goes out and he comes by and he says, because when you take your first bite of your food, that's when you're going to know if you like it or not. And it, after you do that, he's right there. How was that first bite? Yeah, those were his exact words. How was that first bite? It was, was so like, phenomenal. So you know, it just, the whole thing was just. And the prices are good too. Yeah. You yeah. get so much food. We have to go And this food. is, you guys, this is not sponsored in any way. I just no. knew I had been there years ago and their food was good. And they're actually under new ownership. Yeah, yeah. And. And it's even better now. Yeah, and so if you ever get a chance where we're, well, I know in, what restaurant, but it's, what? It's, in, it's technically the address is in Hazel Green. Yeah. It's like right before you come into Iowa from Wisconsin. Yeah. So, but it's called the Three Mile House Supper Club. So if you ever get a chance and you're ever that way, Definitely. you gotta try it. You gotta try it. And their kids menu is super cheap. Like, it's like yeah. $5.99 for a kid's meal, which is not bad at an actual restaurant. This is like a supper club style. Yeah. They have a full bar. They have the food, the, the cheese Good dip. Good music. Was, the cheese dip was excellent. Yeah. And, and they give you a dinner roll and the relish tray. 
is just and the pate is yeah. really mmm it's so tasty yeah is that what that's called the mm -hmm. liver I tried that for the first time and it was actually really good and then ran into somebody we know there sitting right next to us and, and the, one of the first things he said to us was their cheese dip in their, in their livers pate are the best yeah, he's like, and you can buy it to take home. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Matt's like, don't tell me that. <laughs> but yeah, it's really, really good, guys. So not sponsored in any way. Just I had to let you know of a great place that we've been to. And I'm excited that Matt finally got to try it. And he got to try lobster and crab for the first time. He's never had it. So what would you think? I, I really liked it. Which doesn't surprise me. I'm a fish guy. But I'm a picky fish guy, you know. Like, I don't like catfish. And but uh, I just enjoyed time taking her out and she got a nice fancy dinner. It was very nice. It was nice. It's nice to get to do this. Now we're gonna go shopping together. And then back home to the kids. And I have plenty of food left over so I get to share it with the kids. I'm excited. And, you know, the craziest part is, and for that full service, we're, we were in. We got there earlier than our reservations. They had yeah. no problem with that. So they sat us right away. We're in, served that amazing meal, Eight and back in the car in an hour. Yeah, that's and, phenomenal. And, and, and there was no rush. We could have sat there and had drinks or whatever. At yeah, the they table. even came and asked us, would you like anything from the bar? Do you need anything yeah, else? Yeah, but we were ready. We had shopping to do and we were ready. So it was uh, a great experience. I, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It really was. And I can't move now. <laughs>